Hey, happy Monday. Um, it's been a day. It has been a day. Oh my God. You know how it is when you, you're learning something new and you're just, at the end of the day, you're just like mentally, you're just spent. Like, I'm not physically tired. I'm just, I think, you know, for me, I think mental exhaustion is worse than physical I'd rather be physically exhausted than mentally exhausted. It is a different kind of tired. It, it just like gets into your bones or something. I don't know. And, and I think what makes it, what makes it worse too for me is like, I'm not just tired. I can't think right. I just, I can't think and I get grumpy if anybody wants me to make any decisions that I don't feel like are really that necessary. Like, do you really need that right now? Do you need to know that from me? It looks smoky in here, like I got Vaseline on the lens. I think my, I think my, I think it's dirty. Holy shit, that's better. Yeah, it was, it was dirty as hell. <laughs> my phone's always dirty. I can't say anything to my kids because my phone is always so damn dirty. I don't know what I have. I just have cooties or something just handling my phone. These days, I'm doing an illuminating nail concealer on my nails because I don't want to be bothered with like chip fingernail polish right now. And if this stuff, if this stuff chips, it doesn't really show all that much. So for the time being, I am just leaving my nails kind of naked looking. Um, just, I just have enough on my plate. I don't feel like messing with nail polish. So I am not messing with nail polish right now. And, uh, so if you, if you like, what is going on with your nails? I just, I have, I have kept my nails painted for years now for, I've had this channel almost eight years and I've kept them painted that entire time and they are still painted. It's just a nail concealer instead of like regular nail polish to make them look, you know, halfway decent or whatever. But I don't have the capacity right now to give a shit about my nails. It was a good day at work, Whew, but I'm tired. But I remember being this way in the past too when I worked in an office, you know, that first day, especially if I've had a weekend where I stayed up late and slept late, which I prefer prefer to do. Um, I'm still going to sleep in on Sundays. I love, I, on Sundays typically I will stay in the bed until I just can't stand it anymore and I'll lay in the damn bed till 10 o'clock in the morning. I'm not sleeping the whole time usually, but I catch up on my sleep. I just lay there. I will listen to a podcast, drift in and out of sleep, whatever. I take that time on Sunday mornings whenever I can to just not do, not worry about having to dart out of the bed at the crack of dawn, you know? So I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Maybe I know the thing is like, oh, you should get up at the same time every day. Well, I, I don't care. And then, then I struggle on Monday and I complain and I will do it again next week and the week after that and the week after that until I'm dead probably. So I know, I know. There was a kerfuffle this evening. I was in my exercise class and I got a phone call. I had to go home. It's the first time I've left an exercise class early in, I don't know how long, probably three years. And uh, my son got into a, a little scuffle with a few of the kids down the street. And, oh, it was a whole thing. I had to come home. I, I We went down there. We discussed it all. I made him apologize because I'm not going to go into details about it, but he needed to apologize. Uh, he was in the wrong. And... Um, I marched his ass down there and I made him knock on the door and address the parents and the kids and apologize. And I, it, it was, I, I was mad. I have not had a good night. So we dealt with that and I told him what his punishments were going to be, multiple punishments. And, uh, I, we had a little come to Jesus meeting about a few things as a Southern mama tends to do with their children when they lose their damn mind. There's a whole other side of me that y'all don't see. It's so funny. People say, I wish you were my mom. Honey, I don't know that you do. I, I, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not Miss Susie Sunshine. If you do something stupid, I, I'll go to your ass, okay? Maybe not literally. Maybe literally. I will deal with you swiftly, all right? So I dealt with things. I wasn't, I, I was not planning on having to deal with that. Things were going pretty well up until that point, And then everything just kind of went off the cliff. But anyway, we dealt with that, and I came in, we came back home, walked back up here, and I made him go do some stuff, and uh, and then I had a very disappointing little entree from Aldi. It was these frozen enchiladas from Mama Cas Casita, or whatever their brand is. I can never remember what it is. 
and they, they were very bland. I mean, they're frozen enchiladas. You can only expect so much, but I didn't like them. I ate them, but I didn't like them. They were very bland. I probably won't get them again. They were the chicken. They have, um, they had them in, like some had shrimp in it or something or pork and chicken. And I got one of the chicken ones just to try it. And very bland. I went crazy, but I didn't have anywhere near enough sauce in it or under it or uh, it was very bland. But that was my, my very disappointing dinner. And then I sat there at the table in the kitchen and I just rage ate like four waffle cones right out of the box. <laughs> I'm sitting there just angrily eating these waffle cones. <laughs> I ate four big, big ass waffle cones. That was my dessert. <laughs> sitting here going what the hell i'm just replaying the whole evening's events like what in the hell it's just been a day and I, i'm here to tell you if you're dealing with something and you feel like you're all alone and you're on an island and you know you wake up early in the morning and you wake up nervous because you're dealing with new stuff and you always got the butterflies in your stomach and i know it can feel like you're the only one you're not, and you're not. Lots of us are dealing with all kinds of craziness right now. It's not just you. So I just wanted to let you know you're not alone. <laughs> if you're dealing with your kids and they've lost your, they've lost their mind lately, you are not alone. They do, man. Kids just they lose their minds, and you have to deal with it. So I dealt with it. It wasn't fun around here earlier. No, I don't know that you'd want to be my kid. I don't know. I guess it depends on how naughty you are and what you expect to get away with. You might not like being my kid. <laughs> um, anyway. <sighs> what else is going on? Nothing. I'm going to an exercise class after work tomorrow. I'm going to have to leave straight from work. So what I do is after, I, after my work day ends, I change clothes there. There's a little room where you can go in and change and stuff. And they thought of everything at this place. They really did. And um, I'm going to go to a class straight from work. I'm going to have to. I won't have time to go home. So I'm going to do that. I don't really have any exciting plans. or There's nothing going on of any interest or anything. I got my first strawberry, though. I have my little strawberry plants out there in the back. And one of them has a little strawberry on it. It's ripe. I left it on there. I, I felt like I shouldn't pick it. Like, it worked so hard on that one little strawberry. Are you seriously just going to pick it off there and eat it? Well, maybe. It looks good. It's very red. It's about that big. <laughs> Perfect little strawberry. I want, I want to go out there and get it, but... That's my first harvest from my, my little plants. I have my tomato. My tomato plants are doing great. They're growing like crazy. And my strawberry plants, too. They're growing like crazy. And I need to mow again. I'm actually going to get my kids. I think I might get my kids to mow again. I like it when they mow. But I kind of miss mowing, too, because I was out there looking at the front yard and thought, man. Mm. I want to mow it, but I don't, I don't feel like it today. I'm tired. So I made a video yesterday that I'm going to um, that I made and edited and it's uploading right now. I saved it for today so I would have something to put up tonight and I wouldn't have to make anything. And I'm really glad I did after the after the hard right turn my evening took into crazy town. Like, my God. So, yeah. Uh, I, look at my shirt. Look at this. Look at this. It has this holographic shit on it. Love to work out. They put workout on here as one word. It's from Victoria's Secret. I got it at the little thrift store for $2. Was it $2? I think it was $2. $2. I love my top. So, I, yeah, I had to leave my, my this evening's exercise class about 20 minutes early when I got a, the call. Like, you need to come home now. So, I came home and... Oh boy, I brought the wrath of God with me. By the time I got home, I was all fired up. I had the whole drive home to get wound up. And I'm just, you, know, you get really mad and you're just talking to nobody. Yeah, I was really mad and talking to nobody all the way home. It was not pretty. So, 
but I dealt with it as you do you know you got kids you just you have to deal with shit sometimes anyway um no there's not much else going on it's been uh, it's just been work work is going all right I'm st I'm still learning a lot every time I feel like you know I, it's hard when you're getting used to a new job you kind of get a feeling like you got a handle on it and then you get hit with an onslaught of even more stuff like oh god but I'm getting there I'm getting there um because not only do I have to learn to use probably 10 different types of software, half of which I've never used anything like it before, but I also have to learn a whole new job that is not at all what I've been doing. And then somebody asked me, you know, like, you were a patent paralegal for 16 years. Why would you change? Shit, you could be making six figures. Have you ever gotten tired of doing something? You know, my brother, I think about this a lot. Now, my family is very dysfunctional. I've been pretty open about that because I know I'm not the only one in a dysfunctional family. And I just want to let other people know you're not alone. If your family is not picture perfect, like from an 80s sitcom, don't feel bad. Most people's families are at least a little bit jacked up in one way or another, whether you ever hear about it or not. Um, my dad used to get onto my brother a lot. Um... And I, I have this tendency, too. He gets hung up on stuff, and, like, he just won't let it go. He just obsesses over things, and he'll just keep bringing it up. Like, when I first started working for a law firm, he really didn't like it. He really thought that I should not be working for lawyers because, in his mind, well, they're all crooked. You know, haven't you ever watched TV? They're all crooked. You don't need to be working for crooked people. That's just not not good. And I said, well, I like my job, and no, they're not all crooked, and, and I'm not well, you need to quit that job. You need to quit that job. And he just went on and on about that for like two years. I worked there for 18 years total. But for the first two years, every time I saw him, he would tell me, you need, Mary, you need to quit that job. You don't need to be working for lawyers. They're dirty. You don't need to be taking their dirty money. And I said, they're not. I mean, anyway, that's the whole thing. But my, my brother and my dad were both in the Navy. And, uh, and my dad was in the Navy. Let's see. He was in the Navy Reserves for like 25 years, something like that, long-ass time. And my brother was only in the Navy for 10 years, and he hated it. He absolutely hated, he hated the Navy. He hated pretty much every damn minute of it. Couldn't wait to get out. So after 10 years, he got out. And my dad just harped on the fact that, oh, you should have stayed in, you should have stayed in, you stay another 10 years, you get your retirement. Why do you, you need to get back in. You need to get your 10 years. And my brother's like, no, thank you. No, oh, you you just walking away from all that money. Well, my brother went out into the private sector and now has more money than God. I mean, he's he makes really good money. He does, he, I don't want to get into detail with, with what he does, but he does uh, contract work that pays really, really well. It's it's technical, computer 3D printer stuff, and it's, he uh, mostly works out of Charlotte, I think, Charlotte and maybe Atlanta, I don't know, anyway, he makes crazy money, crazy good money, he doesn't need retirement money from the Navy, like, oh yeah, I wish I had invested 10 of those years in the Navy instead of putting it into furthering my career and getting it to where it is now, oh damn, you know, like, I, I, but my dad wouldn't let it go. My dad just kept bringing it up and bringing it. You need to get back into it. You couldn't convince him. Like, I think he did the right thing. He did what he wanted to do. He hated being in the Navy and he wanted to get out and go do something else. And that's exactly what he did. He went and did something totally different from what he did in the Navy. Well, it's kind of like that with me. You know, I did patent prosecution for 16 years. That I was a patent paralegal and I focused exclusively on prosecution of patent matters for 16 years. I got tired of it. I got burnt out on it. I wanted to do something else. And when I knew that this job, my other job was going away, I thought, you know, this is a good opportunity to just look into something totally different. Let's do something else. Something completely unrelated. I, I, I understand that if I had stayed in patent prosecution that I'd be making crazy good money. I understand that. I understand that. I didn't want to do it anymore. I was sick of it. I didn't want to do it anymore. 
So I didn't. I went out and I found another job and it actually pays really well. I'm not complaining at all. The pay is actually damn good. But it's something different. And it's exactly what I wanted and I think it's what I needed. Something totally different. And it is definitely a challenge, but I wanted a challenge. I wanted something new. I didn't want to keep doing the same old shit. So that's why I'm not. Because somebody, it's not all just about the money. I mean, you know, if you can make a lot of money making widgets, that's great. And if you want to keep making widgets, that's awesome. But if you also reach a point where you say, you know, I'm sick of making widgets. I'm going to take the experience and my time here and look for something else, maybe something related to widgets, but something different, and try something else. That's exactly what I did, and I would understand it if you wanted to say, you know, I'm tired of making widgets, I want to do something else. You know, whatever. It doesn't mean that you're stupid. I mean, it's not like I didn't know that I could get a job in patent prosecution. I know that. I know that. I don't want to do it. I didn't want to go into any, any other field of law either. You know, pa pa uh, bleh. paralegals focus on specific fields of law, just like attorneys do. You know, doctors have their specialties. A lot of them specialize. Attorneys do the same thing. Paralegals do the same thing. They will have their focus. It could be corporate law. It could be real estate, health care, litigation, intellectual property, like what I do, did, um, I could, I could go into corporate or whatever. I didn't want to. Like, I don't want to do that anymore. I'm tired of it. I want to do something else. So I did. So anyway, that's a long roundabout way of saying I, I don't do it anymore because I don't want to. And I do what I want. And I didn't want to do that. So I'm not doing it anymore. The end. I mean, that's the end of that. I didn't want to do it anymore. So I'm not. I found something else. I don't know what else to tell you. It's not all about money. I mean, I make enough money. We're, we're fine. I make enough money to pay for my bills and stuff. So I'm happy. I don't need to make a bajillion dollars to be happy. If I made a bajillion dollars, I wouldn't be any happier than I am now. I'm perfectly happy the way I am. So, nah, it's not all about money. I don't, it's not all about money. So anyway, I'm tired. It has been a hell of a day. Actually, it wasn't bad till this evening. And, uh, and I'm going to get a shower and do some other stuff around here. Oh, and two. Oh, my son's home. My older son's here. He just got off work. Another thing happened today. So, you know, I've had all these big changes lately. I've had, you know, the job, the YouTube. I've, I've still got some ongoing family stuff that's private. And I'm not going to talk about it. It's still ongoing. Dealing with that. Um... I got an email this morning. Now, I had this company that would come out, and I pay them. It's not like a city service. They will come out every quarter and clean my, my big rolly bin for the trash and the big rolly bin for recycling. They get really nasty down in there and really stinky, and it's really hard to clean. So there's a, there are several companies that will come and clean your cans out for you. They pressure wash them. They have a machine that cleans them out and leaves them all beautiful and smelling nice. Well, I have had this company cleaning my trash cans now for like a year, and I got an email this morning. Hey, we're Company B. We've taken over the company that was doing your bin cleaning before, Company A. We have taken them over and bought them out. We're now going to be cleaning your trash cans for you. We need you to go to our website and watch a video on how to subscribe and register for your service if you want it to continue. And oh, by the way, we're supposed to come tomorrow. So if you could do this as soon as possible, we would appreciate it. Uh, we won't be coming if we don't hear from you. So go watch the video and get signed up. And I'm like, I don't want to watch a damn video. What the hell? So I had to go watch this video to find out how to sign up with them. And they don't have any of your information. You have to put everything in, start over from scratch. They don't have your payment information, or your address, or anything. So I had to go in there. And they charge more, too. I'm not happy about that. They charge $5 more per quarter than the other company did. And I'm kind of grumpy about that. And I, bought the, I bet they won't leave them all lemon fresh. The other company cleaned them, and they would use all these organic products, you know, safe for pets and people or whatever. So if you ever want to get in there and, like, lick the inside of your trash can, at least the cleaners won't hurt you. The cooties in the trash can might, but the cleaners won't hurt you at all. 
and it would leave this nice smell. It was like a citrusy lemon smell, and it was so lovely. I bet it won't be like that. I'll give them a chance, but like you're not off to a good start making me watch a video and then go through this whole rigmarole to sign up with you. Daggum it. They said, of course, you don't have to. I mean, you can go find another company to do it if you want to. We're just telling you, we have taken over the company that was doing it, so they won't be doing it anymore because they don't exist because we gobbled them up. So, I went ahead and signed. I watched the stupid video. I had to do it on my lunch hour. Watched the stupid video. Got signed up. Put all the information in. So we'll see if they come tomorrow. We'll see what kind of job they do on my cans. I'm going to be very critical because the other company was actually fantastic. And I'm, I'm going to miss them because they always did a really good job. And then they always put the cans back when they were done. So we'll see what they, we'll see how they do. But like, I, I'm tired of change. I'm tired of everything just getting flipped upside down on its head. Can we just, can, can everything just stay the same for like a day? Can I have one day where shit just does not get turned upside down? My God, the last two months have just been like a never ending cavalcade, cavalcade hoot nanny. Like just, Jesus. <laughs> it's been awful. So, maybe things will calm down and just be quiet for a while. I really hope so. But life seems to go like that. It'll go along for a while, kind of smooth, and then it's like, uh, for a while. And this has just been a particularly bad period of that. But anyway, I'm going to go see how my son's doing. And Unless he just got in the shower. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and see how he's doing. Happy Monday. I hope your day went fabulous for the beginning of the week. And I hope you have a good night and a good morning and a good everything. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. And I'll see you again soon.